Hi guys, so uh, introduce yourself and name, if you have a name for your robot, please share that. Hi, we are Team Bubbles and our robot name is Bubbles. I'm Brian, the team captain for SUD. That's great. So this is your second year here in the competition. You started with a very small robot, which was very innovative. And now you've come to this. Uh, did you have any lessons learned pa passed on by your earlier team? Yeah, so uh, our alumni, uh, Shen, he's uh, actually been guiding us a lot on the previous robot. And the uh, diff difficulties faced in doing like uh, different designs, mechanical designs for the robot. So he taught us a lot of things such as like waterproofing and like certain design which actually features our main design which is wireless. There's no wires coming out of our hull at all. No wires in, no wires out. So that's the special part about our vehicle this time. That's great. Did you have any challenges that uh, you faced during building this robot? Uh, yes. So uh, one of our main challenges faced is that um, it's our first time. Like everybody in the team, except for alumni mentoring us, it's the first time working on underwater robotics. And it's the first time most of us are even working on robotics. So we have not touched electronics, mechanical, or anything technical for before we started on this at, in, at all. So it's, it's insane. It's crazy that everybody has managed to build this today and we qualified. So that's insane. I that's think. great. Congratulations on that. Do you think the experience that you've learned here uh, would be helpful other than this challenge? Yes, I think it's, uh, it's very definitely it'll be very helpful because not only did we learn like technical skills along the way, but also that everybody has learned how rough a competition can be and the standards that we need to meet. We look at our competitors and we see all of their robots. Are, a lot of them are industrialized and not, but ours we from scratch. So it's maybe our next step is something to look forward to because I think we'll be definitely coming back next year. So if you qualify uh, today and come back tomorrow, what, what do you think uh, would be the biggest challenge for tomorrow? So as for now, for tomorrow, I think the biggest challenge would be to fix our broken electronics. And uh, yeah, because it was working perfectly before, but we had last minute issues. So that will be our biggest challenge for now. Yeah. But are you going to attempt all the tasks for tomorrow? So for tomorrow, I think we are only attempting two out of four tasks. So we are not very ambitious. I think two out of four tasks is good enough because the main challenges this time are ourselves, not anyone else. And maybe we'll come back next year. Okay, great. We hope to see you next year too. And uh, if you had to describe your SAUVC experience in one word, what would you say? I think the word would be bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Mm. Any word to describe your experience today? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, super last minute. Oh my god. Dramatic. Exciting. Challenging. Compelling. Unrelenting. Fun. Sorry. Fun. Ghetto. <laughs> awesome. Hot <laughs> Just hacky. <laughs> Uh, we're going to ban anyone named Murphy from this uh, from this team from now on. Yeah, it's Murphy, 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 absolute Murphy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's great. So uh, that's great, guys. All the very best for tomorrow if you go through the rounds today, and hope to see you next year too. Thank you.